Hi, I'm Lucy McDonald's physiotherapist, and today I'm going to show you an exercise that is brilliant if you have a plantar fasciopathy, which we used to call a plantar fasciitis, and basically it's pain in your plantar fascia, which is the underside of your foot and heel. Now, first things first, you do need to get um, your injury assessed and diagnosed, um, and then you can follow this exercise. Um, likewise, I would recommend that you don't do straightforward stretches. We now know that plantar fascia behaves like a tendon and we know that stretching is not good for tendons. So this exercise is excellent because it, is, it starts to load the plantar fascia. So here we go. It involves a little bit of faffing around to try and get the equipment set up. But when you have, what you want to end up with is on the edge of a step, you want to have a book or a block of some description that's about so high, so that when you, say you have the plantar fascia on your right leg, you want to place your, the ball of your foot so that the ball of your foot is quite comfortably on the step whilst your big toe is flexed upwards. Because that makes sure that you load the plantar fascia nicely. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go up through your tiptoes and then you're going to go down slowly making sure that you're weight bearing through the inside of the foot so not allowing your foot to rock over but making sure that you're weight bearing through that inside so i'll show you again you go up through um, your the balls of your feet and then you go slowly 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 down and then up through the balls of your feet and then slowly 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 down the kinds of levels of the kinds of levels of discomfort that you want to be feeling are around about sort of two or three out of ten on the pain scale, where ten is the worst pain you can imagine and naught is nothing. And you can be feeling that discomfort during the exercise and for up to three to four hours afterwards. If the pain's more intense than that, you, you stop immediately. Um, and likewise, if the pain goes on for longer um, than two or three hours after the exercise, then likewise, you stop, don't do it again. Either way, A, don't stretch it, and B, come and get it assessed. You can get in touch with me, um, uh, Lucy McDonald Physio at hotmail.co.uk, or if you want to send us a cure email, then send it to lucy at octopusclinic.com. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, and by all means, please do let me know what you would like me to do a video on next. And in the meantime, happy running.